Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be unboxing these Mr. Pen gel highlighters and fine liner pens that I found on Amazon. I was just browsing for some Bible journaling supplies and I stumbled upon these and I was really interested in testing them out and trying them out. So today I'm going to be showing you guys these and also we're going to be studying the word. I wanted to show you guys a very easy way to get you started in studying the word for all of you beginners. And like I say in all of my um, Bible journaling for beginner videos, even if you're a more seasoned Bible journaler, these videos are great for you as well because sometimes it's just nice to go back to the basics and to the beginning. So we have here a total of 10 gel highlighter pens and eight fine line pens. So these are in the color pastel. I'm going to leave the link for these in the description below. I do get a percentage of what you guys purchase if you guys use this link but of course there's no obligation to do that that is completely up to you but that will be there in the description for you if you would like to purchase these pens and highlighters and i just love the fact that it came with a little uh mustache sticker i believe it's a sticker i can't really get the back off but um i really love these colors these pastel colors and i am so excited to try them and as you can see these pens are really really fine so i'm really interested to see how well they work in our bibles so look at all these pretty colors you guys i am so excited let's go ahead and uh, swatch all of these gonna be a really quick time lapse and then uh, we'll just dis we'll discuss that sh just briefly um, what we're looking for is for any bleed through and I'm gonna tell you why for you beginners um, we look for bleed through because we want to since we're going directly into our Bibles with these we want to look for products or things that tend not to bleed through although um you know sometimes that is inevitable because we are working on paper but if we can find great products that don't bleed through then that makes our bible journaling life a lot easier so that's what we're going to look for quickly and don't leave because we're we're going to go ahead and jump into into studying for those of you who are starting i recommend that if you want to test things in your journaling bible that you go to one of the back pages that are like blank or something like that and test it on there be if you're not so sure like if something is gonna bleed through in your bible or not and even though i'm testing it on mine you guys i still suggest that you do it on yours just in case because every bible is different so definitely recommend for you guys to do that Unfortunately, the last page of my Bible has a little design on it, so I'm looking for a blank one. But this is just my Bible. You guys should be able to have a page either in the front or the back of your Bible where you can test on. And you guys, I actually learned this from Lindsay, from Lindsay Decor. If you guys watch her channel, she's amazing, amazing, amazing. And I learned to test things in my Bible from her. So right away, I can tell you guys, they're really, really smooth. Really, really smooth to write with. Um, they feel very much like, kind of like a smooth, smooth crayon feel. <laughs> they're really nice. And to be honest, there really isn't bleed through. I mean, you could if you wanted to use gesso and so on and so forth but um i don't really see anything i mean not even with the pens and i would say though that with the pens they have a really 
fine tip as you can see. So I would probably not use too much pressure in when you're writing in the Bible, but other than that, you guys, these are great. I cannot wait to use them. We're gonna use them now for the passage that we're going to consider to study. And I went ahead and used the darker colors on the words just to see if you could still see the words that you're highlighting even if the colors were a little stronger and you i mean you can as you can see so this works super amazing you guys 10 out of 10 for me i love these okay you guys so let's go ahead and get started you can go ahead and flip your bibles to psalm 100 and um guys like i've stated before this bible is the one that i use to like test things out and try things out before i illustrate in the bibles that i use um so the reason why i think i've said it before here on the channel but the reason why i don't use this bible is because it came with some designs in the margins already and that limits me from creating my own designs and also from in some pages writing and journaling in this bible so that's why i don't use this one i prefer to use one that's completely blank so that i can have the liberty to choose whether i want to journal in it or whether i want to illustrate in it on a page um so yeah that's why i don't use this bible but for today i'm gonna go ahead and use it it is a really beautiful bible um but like i said it limits me a little bit so I am just going to use it today because I happen to have a blank space here. <laughs> so um, let me just say that these pens, right, they're really, really great. Even if you choose not to, um, you know, do any Bible journaling in your Bible, they're great for journaling regardless and for highlighting. These gel highlighters are great for highlighting anything. So, um, yeah this this works great even for that even if you choose not to do any you know anything in your in your bibles we discussed different something's going on with my light here sorry guys um we discussed different um different ways to do bible journaling that you can do bible journaling whether you're going directly in your bible using a journal uh you know different ways you happen to miss that video of different ways that you can do Bible journaling, I'll leave that in the description below so that you guys can watch. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started here. I probably have seen this before and oh my goodness, you guys, you can tell that I use these um, because <laughs> they're like folded up on the edges and everything anyways. But, um, I showed you guys this in a video a while ago. I will leave it also in the description. And this is just a PDF that has three steps for the Bible journaling process. We're gonna go in detail through each and every step. I'm gonna use the English version. So this, you guys, I have it available on my Instagram for you guys to have access to it, print it out, share it, do whatever you guys want with it. Um, it's completely free. You just have to go to my Instagram, visit the link in my bio, download it, print it out, and you guys can use it and share it and, and do as you please. So this is just three easy steps for the Bible journaling process. It helps you just remember everything that you would do from all the way from praying to reflecting at the end, whether you're illustrating or not, this will give you, you know, the steps on what to do. So we're gonna go into uh, in depth into this process. All right, so I also have my notebook here on the side because I actually like to do all my note taking in here first and then I will take my notes and I would transfer them over to my Bible. The most important ones that I want to remember, I would transfer them here to my Bible, but I always have a little separate notebook to do that. You can choose to do this too, or you can go directly in your Bible. That's up to you. So I'm going to grab a purple pen because I love purple. And I'm going to write the psalm, the verse that we're going to be considering today, which is Psalm chapter 100, verse 3. It's 
sometimes I just get more and more in depth from from this but definitely this will help you start out if you've never studied the Bible or if you don't know like where to begin with studying the Bible this is definitely gonna help you out guys this is how I was um, you know taught you know to to get into studying the word so and it's helped me tremendously so I know that it's gonna be great for you guys too all right so the very first step here says to pray and ask God to speak to you as you dive into his word ask him to help you understand it and to learn from it so let's go ahead and make a quick prayer dear Heavenly Father I thank you today for the opportunity that you have given me God to show what I have learned in studying your word Lord Jesus I ask God that you help me that you help all of us that are doing this together into understanding your word God guide us and help us understand it help us to learn from it God speak to us as we read and as we study the word that you are giving us today we love you and we thank you in Jesus name we pray amen Sometimes it's easy to get confused by something or to get lost in something and asking him to guide us and to help us is definitely a step that you don't want to skip because we want you know, to learn from him and we want him to be the one to guide us into understanding and, read and um, learning and reading his word. So let's go ahead and read the verse which is right up here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and highlight it. Let's see. Let's go in with this pretty teal color. Just so that we know where we're at and what we're reading. You can do this also. You can underline it if you don't have like highlighters or anything that you can use. Use what you have. That is what we talked about in the first video in this series. Use what you have and then, you know, build up from there. So, um, verse 3 says, Know that the Lord is God. It is He who made us, and we are His. We are His people, the sheep of His pasture. I'm going to go ahead and take a quick second to write that verse down. That's going to be a time lapse. So, you guys go ahead and write it down with me. I have already written down the verse right here and sorry guys I tilt my paper to write <laughs> and I'm sorry if my handwriting isn't all that great I think I'm gonna switch colors to take notes this is the fun part of, of Bible journaling you can use different things colors to make it nice and fun for you so and I don't know if I mentioned this before but I actually used this very verse to learn this method right here so um i'm using it again today to show you guys if we go into into the part that says read in journal part a says read the verse or passage which we have we read it and i also recommend that you write it down like i have because it's easy to go back to it so we've done that part b says write what stands out to you so you're gonna take a second and you're gonna write out what what calls your attention the most in this verse and it might be different from mine from what you know calls my attention and that's okay but it's, what's important is for you to explore that and explore why that called your attention so I'm going to just look over it know that the Lord is God it is he who made us we are his I think that this is the part that calls my attention the most so I am going to go ahead and write that down. I'm going to make a little heart as my little bullet point. I'm also just going to write around here that this is part B, right? And uh, the second part of part B says, which of God's attributes can you find as you read? So as I read, you know, this verse, I find that he is God. I can see these attributes or characteristics of God. 
that he is indeed God. It says here that it is he who made us. So I'm going to write as another characteristic or attribute that he is our creator. Right? The God that made us. We are his. We are his people. The sheep of his pasture. This makes me think that in terms of sheep, right? He is our pastor and let's see it says here to write them down which we already did and it says write how you can apply what you've read to your life as a Christian before I do that I kind of want to um, skip over that a little bit and look at part C. It says that for extra studying, look up definitions to unfamiliar words or even simple words sometimes that can open up a lot of understanding. So right now, I am really focusing on these words right here. Creator. Pastor. They're simple words, but I want to get into the definition of these words to get a better understanding of God the creator and God our pastor. I'm going to switch colors so that we don't get lost here. And I usually use Google Google's dictionary to define my words. So let's go ahead and look up creator. Excuse my kids in the background. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and type that in and the definition of creator is right here. I used something as simple as Google, which everyone has access to, to look up these words. So um, I looked up creator and I got a person or thing that brings something into existence. We can get a lot from that if we go back to God the creator at the beginning in Genesis. And we can go over to that just to make our study a little bit more in depth. And then shepherd, right? the person that is over the sheep. When I say pastor, I'm definitely thinking of a sh like a, of a shepherd, somebody that's in charge of or taking care of sheep, which is a guide um, used to guide, direct, or tends to the sheep. Back to God, the Creator, for a second. Actually, reading and studying this the other day in my just studies that I do outside of Bible journaling. I like to read the word and study a little. So I was just looking here for the passage that I wanted to read, but here in chapter one, verse 27, it says, so God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. I wanna make note of that verse here oops sorry hit my camera there all right so just like as a reference let's write reference here genesis chapter 1 verse 27 i'm just gonna write a little note i'm just writing here god created male and Guys, these notes are not pretty at all. It's, that's, this is how I take notes. I get so excited in the word and I just start writing, 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 writing. But this is how I usually do it. So I'm just writing that here in my notes. And this is all, guys, based on what stood out to me. So maybe for, your, for you it's a little bit different. But if you want to follow along in my process, that way you get a feel of it, you can. So I also wanted to visit chapter 2 here's another reference genesis chapter 2 verse 7 this one is so beautiful it says then the lord formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and the man became a living being second to think about this that this verse that we just read 
we're talking about God who made us here, right? We can see that he created us in his image, that we are his people, that we are his, and we truly are. We are his creation. Um, he is our creator. He's that person that brought us into existence, right? That's what we can see from this definition. He is the person that breathed the breath of life into us and we became living beings. So if you think about this right now, this very breath that you just took and the one that you just took right now and the one that you just took right now, it's the air, it's his air. It's the air that he breathed into us. That is such an amazing and beautiful thought. We are breathing that breath of life that God gave us from the very beginning. And if we jump into this one, this other thing that stood out here, um, we talked about him being God, him being our creator, he, him being our, our guide, that person that directs us, our authority, that person that tends to us, that takes care of us, gives us whatever we need. To go ahead and go back to part C, and I want to, um, I'm sorry, part B, right here, where it says write how you can apply that, what you've learned, um, what you've read to your life as a Christian. We're going to go ahead and pretty much to do this, summarize everything. Let me go to a clean page. Anyway, I have to refer back to the notes that we just took. All right, so let's do that. To my life, I can see from this note that I made here, um, he is who made us. So he is God, our creator. Let's write that down. I can probably use some words from the definition. He is our creator, the one who brought us into existence. What else can we see? That we are his. This is where I put pastor. What I really meant to say was shepherd here, guys. That's why it was... So I messed up here with the term. <laughs> I put pastor. It was really supposed to be shepherd because that's the term in English. I use the term in Spanish. I'm sorry, guys. We're going to go with it, okay? So <laughs> um, we are his people, the sheep of his pasture. So... We, he is the one that takes care of us. And I want to use this part right here. He's the one who has all the authority over us. And I also want to say that um, he's the one that breathed life into us. I think I just want to say, as a Christian, I want to be forever thankful for his love, mercy, because he gives me life every day. Let's write that. Even if I don't deserve it. And I want to forever worship and praise his name, live for him. Because of all these beautiful things that I have learned, I want to uh, live for the Lord, give him all the thanks through worshiping him, praising him, and, and living for him because of all these beautiful things. He's the God that created me. He's the God that gives me life every single day. He's the air that I breathe every single day, every single moment. And I'm just so thankful for that because we are so undeserving of, of, of all of these things. I'm so undeserving of all of these things, yet he is so great to give me life every day, give me life every morning, giving me this air that I'm breathing right now to show you guys his word or showing you guys maybe a simple way to study it. And I'm just, just so thankful. So in return, uh, I mean, he deserves all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. That's what I want to do to thank him. 
give him all the glory, all the honor, all the praise, and live for him. So I'm going to just set these notes aside. I don't want to close them because I'm going to go refer back to them because this is the time where you're going to reflect. So what you would do now is you would choose the way, you know, you could leave that just the way it is if you want to, you know, just take do your note taking as you're studying the Bible and so on and so forth. You can do just that, but if you want to reflect, you can, if you're not going to do it in your Bible, you can rewrite these notes in much more prettier way <laughs> or you could go into your illustrating bible transfer your notes in there and if you want to do a little illustration um you can you can illustrate in your bible um just to give you an image or something to remember this that you have learned today from one verse all that we took out i usually do illustrate because i like to illustrate it's my time um, of peace with the lord and that's what i like to do um sometimes i do notes just notes uh it really just depends on you know how i feel and today i really just want to do notes so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to transfer the most important notes over and you guys are going to see them now all right guys this is my finished page I went ahead and did a little title. I did a little image just to, a little illustration, just to remind me um, that he is our creator and remind me of um, the references which I wrote down here, which is, which is Genesis. And then I wrote some of my notes here, the most important ones that I want to remember. And then, guys, I like to add a little title, so you can do that too. And I always put, make sure to put the date because I like to go back to see what I've done and when I did it. Um, so this is it, you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys liked it um, and that you guys learned from it. I hope this is really helpful. Really studying the word. Um, there's no, I can't say like a specific way to do it. You just have to really let God guide you. But I hope that this PDF can help you um, have some sort of organization or, or you know or order it's on my instagram jelly bean bible journaling i also have it available in spanish so you, for you guys to download these um pens and um highlighters gel highlighters were awesome 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 i definitely recommend them if you guys want them the remember that the uh, link for those um will be in my description below and i just want to thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys in the next video